My trusty Vic. A quick flick and my cigarette's lit. She hated my habit. And I all but gave it up until now. Now I look in my hand at this cheap disposable lighter and see a companion. Works every time. Every time it's there, it performs. Add that to the list of objects I carry around who are dependable. So that's where I've ended up, citing an imaginary list of seemingly worthless objects that until a few days ago meant nothing. But they're everything to me now. It wasn't always like this. I had it all, or so I thought. I was comfortable. And then it all fell apart. She did the bare minimum of preparing the news. I want a divorce. It all blurs together until later that night. I was checking Facebook. Four of her friends had liked her new relationship status. Four people I'd never met. I slithered my way into bed, hoping I'd die there in my sleep. A nightmare-filled night was broken by my first brief experience of relief. A fresh Monday morning at a dependable job that for the first time I realized, I hated. For 15 years, I've slumped behind a desk. I can't bear this anymore. A vacation, exactly what I needed. I have four walls and a small collection of objects to keep me company. My grandfather's pocket knife. 20,000 leagues under the sea. and Jack Daniels. Jules Verne was once my favorite, but in the current circumstances, all I can do is make correlations between a man named Nobody, a cold, deep, infinite ocean, and a slimy, gigantic monster waiting to get her tentacles around me. She took everything. Not that I was willing to put up a fight. I guess she was building a life with her new lover. I didn't see a life without her. Then there's my pocket knife. The only family heirloom I have, and I stole it. I remember my grandfather carried it everywhere. I found it on his tool bench the day he died. This belonged to a tenant that's been dead and gone for decades. And it still ticks. Maybe there's still time for me too. <laughs> <laughs>